Hey guys, this is DarkSpirit06 and I'm back with another tutorial video and this is going to be a no-nonsense guide of how to level up fast and grind XP for your craftables to get perfect gear ultimate for Attack on Titan 2. Now let's get into the tutorial. So you will need three or more characters to be enough levels of friendship. So for example, it, it can be like about, about 5, 10 or even max. You just got to play through the stories and give them gifts and you should be acquired more assistance and more quickness of your time limit. So here, this is just a quick little clip of, for a little example of leveling up Mika Surge 5 and it's got like all 10 of those abilities for friendship inside of your book which is comparing to the journal. I know I haven't got any of those to level 10 yet because I'm still working on the possibilities trying to get my third platinum on the Attack on Titan franchise and once I play through the storyline it may contain spoilers because there are some things that you might have not seen before just make sure you've seen the original material first before watching the tutorial so the first person you want to be focusing on trying to level up your characters would be Krista Lenz or known as Historia Rice which is the queen of Shiganchia district and Trust district and you want to get her friendship level to at least about level 5 and you should be able to obtain the skill called friendship. Now people are going to be telling me what does friendship do? Does it just make you go faster or contains requirements? But no. So basically for example, once again, friendship is something that you level up with but when it says friendship inside your journal it increases so it doubles the XP while you play through the storyline for your friendships so it can be quite quicker the amount the amount of titans you kill the more xp you earn while you let your enemies kill titans if i use crystal lens then you'll just attack or just give me a healing drink in all sorts it can be any of those requirements that they can improve themselves what to do okay so the next person you're going to be leveling up would be armin arlet it will be on the next digit on the next page of the levels and the first one it doesn't really matter because it just gives you leaderships but it, it can be useful but I just really want to know what's on the next page so you have three and four of each requirement you have for Armin when, when you get to level 10 so you get leadership which is 10 well repaired and siege fortment fortmentation <laughs> yeah because my so if I have glitchy speaking because I'm from the UK and I'm going through autism and I'm going really rough time so I'm hoping it can go away soon if I get used to it when I get older. So you want to at least get Armin to level 10. So if anyone are experts watching this tutorial video, I know it will probably be obvious and it would be Beartold stolen Colossal Titan while he eats Beartold. But even though... There will be spoilers ahead once again, so you can just stop watching the video and just go to the very end, because I'll be talking about the craftables later on. So level 10, both things, and you want to get a max level, and complete the storyline on Inferno mode to be able to get the Titan Shifter for Armin Arlet, which would be the Colossal Titan, which was stolen. Even though I wouldn't really personally recommend using the Titan Shifter in the first place, because you're already just going to be blasting through titans without even using assistance because i'll be getting into those kind of abilities in a second but even though if you could just use the titan shifter you can do it can be absolutely fine which strategy you guys do because i do a completely different one so the next one you're going to be doing would be mikasa rakramin which could be the second strongest person in the 104th cadet forces so on the first page, you're just going to be getting strength requirements, would be times 3 the strength, 5 times, or even 10 times. You just want to really get them quickly as possible. If any of you speedrunners out there, they can just get it in no time. And for on the second page, you'll get multi-dash and another 10 times strength and blade up. For multi-dash, it's just like in the first Attack on Titan video that I made just a few weeks ago and a few days ago about the tutorial. Armin, Jean, and Mikasa and Levi had that kind of skill. It's like Chain Dash, which makes you dash while using the ODM gear, which you 
with your thruster twice. And for the final next character you're probably going to be focusing on it would be Levi Ackman. Now he is probably the most unforgettable skill and person you can never forget in the Attack on Titan game franchises. So basically in the first pages and second pages you get strength and skills. So when you get to level 3 you will be able to have the ability to throw blades, do a spin lash and get a multi-strike which allows you to glide across maps like you see in one of my original videos. So for example, it only does like three times. Like in the first game you can hit like five, but it does like two. And you want to require the skill, Wings of Freedom, which means you have to get Levi to about level 10 for your XP. It can take quite a while in order to equip the skill, but I only know one farm method, which means you have to go through the mission called Sneak Attack, which allows you to fight Zeke, which is basically the remastered version of Levi vs Zeke in story mode, but you can just find it in another mode instead of just going through the HUD and everything, because it's just going to take you more longer. So, if you're trying to equip the Wings of Freedom, Make sure you level up a bit more for your protagonist first before equipping the Wings of Freedom skill. Because it costs like 50 skill points for your level. So right now I'm 102 for my protagonist or known as the Nameless Soldier. And I'm actually getting close to the point to get to max level which could be I think about 120 maybe. But you just gotta like keep going through the levels until you actually get the hang of it. And there you guys have it, and that is the tutorial on how to get craftables quickly and grind XP for everyone and every character. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I thought it was helpful for all of the beginners out there. I know it's going to be quite difficult, but I decided to make another tutorial on the second attack on time road change. So yeah, this is probably about it, I suppose. So this is Darkspear06, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy. Bye bye!